Hello friends, this video on solutions part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So till now we have seen, we know what is the partial pressure of a or component in the pure pure state, that is P1 naught, P2 naught. What is the, when you mix to form, this is pure. This is also pure. And this is my solution. So in case of solution, we know what is the mole fraction of one, what is the mole fraction of two. We also know what is the partial pressure due to component one in the paper stage, partial pressure due to component two in the paper stage. Correct. But now let's suppose we want to know what is the composition of vapor phase in equilibrium. That means what is the mole fraction of component 1 and component 2 in vapor phase. See we know we know this is the mole fraction in this is liquid stage, liquid phase. These are all liquid phase. And these are all my vapor phase. Right. This is my vapor phase and this is my liquid phase. So in liquid phase, I know how to find the mole fraction. Pretty easy, right? Because I know the moles of solute, I know the moles of solvent, I can easily find the mole fraction of uh, component 1, component 2. But in the vapor phase also, if you see if my both Component 1 and component 2 is volatile because it is a volatile now. Right? Both are volatile. So they will have some concentration. So I want to find the composition of these two. Right? If I want to find the mole fraction of component 1 and component 2, mole fraction of component 1 and component 2 in vapor phase. Please note, till now we have found the mole fraction of component 1 and component 2 in liquid phase that is easy to find because I know the moles of A and moles of P. But I have to find the mole fraction of component 1 and component 2 in vapor phase. So how to find this? I know these values P1, P2 and all. So if you see, if let's suppose y1 and y2 are the mole fraction of the component 1 and component 2 in the vapor phase, I can say that P1, that is partial pressure of 1 in the vapor phase, is nothing but the mole fraction of 1 into P total. Correct? Right? Because that's how it is. P total, P1 by P total is nothing but the mole fraction of y1. Or let me write like this. Correct? Because pressure is directly proportional to moles. So in the in the vapor phase, instead of talking about the moles, we talk about the pressure. So mole fraction of component 1 in vapor phase is nothing but P1 by P total. Similarly, mole fraction of component 2 in vapor phase will be P2 by P If you have n number of composition, so if you want yi, mole fraction of y will be pressure of i by pressure total. That is the formula we use. You want to find the mole fraction of any component in the vapor phase, you find the pressure due to that component, partial pressure due to that component, divide by total pressure. So that is my mole fraction of the component in vapor phase. Let's take some numericals now. On this, see the question says the vapor pressure of chloroform and dichloromethane at 298 Kelvin are 200 mm, mm Hg and 415 mm Hg respectively. This is the pure form. So let's assume that this one is my chloroform, the red one, CHCl3 and this is my the one is CH2Cl. I can take any of these, I'm just assuming. So P1 naught for uh, chloroform is what? 200 mhg. So P1 naught is nothing but 200 
200 mm of H. What is the value of P two naught? 415 mm of Hg. This is nothing but 415 mm of Hg. This is clear. So we have to find the vapor pressure of the solution. That is, have to find P1 and P2. And why? So for that, I have to find x1, x2. They are, they are given something. Hold on. They have given. They have told that 2.5 gram of CaCl3. That is. This I am taking 2.5 gram and I am taking 40 gram of sorry 25.5 25.5 gram of CaCl2 and 40 gram of CH dichloroethane that is this is 40 gram correct I am taking this so first I have to find x1 x2 pretty easy so for finding x1 x2 what is x1 x1 is mole fraction of 1 this CSCL3 by mole fraction of 1 plus mole fraction of 2. So to find mole fraction, I mean uh, moles, x1 is mole fraction of 1 that is mole, mole of 1 by mole of 1 plus mole of 2. So let's find the moles of 1. Moles of 1 is nothing but my CSCL3, correct? That is nothing but mass of CSCL3 by molar mass of CaCl3. What is the mass of CaCl3 given? 25.5 gram. What is the molar mass of CaCl3? That we have to find now. So let's find CaCl3 here. Let's not waste so much space. CaCl3 carbon is 12, hydrogen is 1, chlorine is 35.5 into Three, the three chlorine molecules you add them what you get is 119.5 gram per mole so put this 119.5 gram per mole right so moles of CSCL3 is 25.5 divided by 119.5 gram per mole you solve it you get 0 0.213 mole so you have point found n1 correct now to find N2, let this be equation. N2 is what? Mass of dichloromethane divided by molar mass of dichloroethane. What is the mass of dichloroethane? 40 gram. What is the molar mass? Let's find. Let's find where. Here only. CH. 2 Cl2 correct so here let's find the molar mass of CH2L2 carbon is 12 hydrogen is 1 1 into 2 is 2 chlorine is 35.5 into 2 is 71 you add this you get 85 gram per mole this becomes 85 gram per mole this is 40 gram 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 cancel what you get is moles of CS2 Cl2 is 0.47 mole. Done. So with this, I can easily find x1 and x2. X1 is nothing but the mole fraction of CS Cl3. There is nothing but you put this value in the formula. N1 is what 0 0.023, 0 0.213, sorry, divided by 0.213. There is a mole fraction of N1. Uh, moles of N1 plus moles of N2 that is 0.47 correct so with this you get you find you get this is 0.312 similarly if you find x2 that is you can directly find or you can say 1 minus x1 that you will get 1 minus 0.312 that is 0.688 so I have found the mole fraction of CHCl3. This is I have found that is my 0.312 and this is 0.688. First part is done. Mole fraction of each component is sorry. Yeah. What did you find? Sorry, nothing. We didn't find anything actually. We just found x1, x2. We have to find the vapor pressure of solution. 
to be preparation of solution. So the total vapor pressure of the solution will be what? The total will be. I told pressure due to one plus pressure due to two partial pressure. What is P one? P one naught into x one. Rolls down. P two is P two naught into x two. What is P one naught? P one naught is given as to be twenty five point five. Sorry, this is two hundred mg of h. Two hundred mm of hg. Into x one that is point three two point three three one two plus what is p two not four one five mm of g correct into x two that is point six eight eight so you saw this you get three forty seven point nine mm of g so that is the total pressure here so p one and p not I have found. Correct. So that is the total vapor pressure of the solution. So what we have found till now, we have found that the total pressure is three forty-seven point nine mm of Hg. Now we have to find the mole fraction of each component in the vapor phase. We have to find y one, y two. So y one is what? Pressure due to one by p total, and y two is what pressure due to two by p total. Correct. So let's find p one. P one we have just found is p one naught into x one. So p one naught was what two hundred mm of of Hg into x one. X one is what we have seen point three one two. Right, and that is nothing but six two point four mm of H. What is P one? P one is nothing but pressure due to CH Cl three. So we need P two due to CH two Cl two because P two is by CH two Cl two. Nothing but P two naught into X two naught. P two naught value we have seen is four one five mm of H G. And x two is nothing but six point six eight eight. You solve this, you get two eighty five point five mm of Hg. Correct. Now we will put the value of the formula. Mole fraction of one that is CHCl three in vapor phase is nothing but P one by P total. What is the value of P one? Sixty two. Point four mm of Hg by pressure total was three forty seven point nine mm of Hg. Correct. So this value comes out to be point one eight. Now to find y two, I can directly use the same formula, or I can say y two is nothing but y one one minus y one. So that is nothing but one minus point eight. That is point eight two. So mole fraction of CH2Cl2 in the vapor phase will be 0.82. So this value is 0.82, and this value is 0.18. So we found all the values actually, right? P1 also we found that is 62.4 mm of Hg, and P2 also we found that is 285.5 mm. Okay. Just understand this problem. If you don't understand this, you can watch this twice to understand why and how we are doing it. The concept is pretty easy. You have this part pressures for the pure pure solvents, pure solute. You have the mole fraction in the solution of solute and solvent. You apply the Raoult's law. P one is nothing but x one into P one naught. P two is nothing but x two into P two naught. You get P one P two. Once you get P one P two, you can easily get Y one Y two. Y one is nothing but P one by P one plus P two. Y two is nothing but P two by P one plus P two for a binary solution. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.